Hey guys, this is MG with, with another tutorial about how we can create a dependent drop-down list in Excel. Here I have a simple sheet with three columns named customer type, product category and product. Well, to buy a product, a customer first picks a product category to select a certain product out of it. So let's create a drop-down list for customer type. And since there is nothing else to be written in that column, we sure can select the whole column and then go to Data tab and click on Data Validation. It will open a small data validation window and under the Allow field, select List and then click on Source and go to the sheet where your customer's list exists and select it. and then click on OK. Now here you can see that it has created a drop down option in every cell and we can select the customer quite conveniently. Anyhow, exactly the same way we can create a drop down list for the product category column. Since it's a product category, we just need to select the headings and we sure can select more cells in the headings row if there is a chance of adding a new product category. Anyhow, I am just selecting the ones I have in the headings for now and then click on OK. Now, our drop down list is ready for customer type and product category columns and we can select the customer and product category quite conveniently. Now let's consider a customer picks office supplies category to buy a product and what he should see in the product column are the products that come under office supplies category. And exactly the same way if he picks another category let's say decoration then he should see the products that come under the decoration category. So to do that, first we need to create the range names according to the product categories. And if you don't know how to create and use range names, please see my video named how to use range names in Excel to work effectively and efficiently. I will give the link in the description. Anyhow, just select the product data and go to formulas tab. And click on create from selection and here we need to select the top row instead of the left column as our product categories are written in the form of headings so just uncheck the second option and click on OK now our range names have been created and we can see them by clicking on the name manager Anyhow, select your product column and go to Data Validation in the Data tab. And select List in the Allow field. And here in the Source field, we need to use a function named Indirect. And instead of selecting any range this time, we just need to select the range name and since we already have created our product range names in the form of product category, we just need to select product category or B1 in my case and turn it into a relative cell reference by removing the dollar signs. and then click on OK. It has given us an error message and it's just because I have selected the headings in it too. Just ignore it and click on Yes. Now, 
Here it should show the products that come under decoration category only. And here you can see that it's showing the products that come under decoration category. And what actually indirect function did here is that it looked over the relevant cell in the product category column and gave us the relevant products that come under specific category mentioned in the product category column. Now, let's change it from decoration to electronics. And it should show the products that come under the electronics category only. And here you can see that it's showing only those products that come under electronics category. Now, our dependent drop-down list is working fine. And we surely can add our data quite conveniently. Anyhow, here you can see that there are some extra blank cells in the drop-down list which we can remove if we want. Just select your product's data. And go to Home tab and click on Find and Select. And then select Go to Special. Here, just select the option blank and click on OK. It will simply select all the empty cells in the data and then just right click on it and delete them. And the cells need to go up instead of left. So just select the second option and click on OK. It will just delete all the empty cells in the data. And here you can see that the drop down list is not showing any empty cells in the list anymore. Well, if we need to add a new product in the data, we sure can add that. Just go to your concerned product category and insert a cell in the range and add your product there. And here you can see that it's showing in the drop-down list right away and if you will add the new product at the end of the list it will not show up in the drop down list and what you can do here is just drag and drop it in the list and it will start showing up in the drop-down list and we can select that right away well there is no need of having drop-down list option in the headings we sure can remove that just select the headings and then go to data validation And just ignore the message as it's saying that there are more than one type of data validation in the selected cells or range, which we already know. And then click on OK after clicking on Clear All button. And here you can see that it has removed the drop down list option from the headings. Anyhow, creating a dependent drop down list helps to add multi layer data conveniently and efficiently which were products based on product category in my case. And I hope this will be helpful for someone out there. And thanks for watching.